This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. ACI Learning's 80% completion rate is 50% higher than the training industry average. Invest in your team with the best training they're sure to love. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution Plan. Based on your team's size, you'll receive a properly quoted discount tailored to your needs. Yeah, I know. I know that Leo has has talked a lot about AI being kind of like a parlor trick. Uh, we're in the middle of a bubble. I don't see. You know, how is this any different from the 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 passion that bubbled up around NFTs and the metaverse and everything like that? But there are just there are some directions in which AI, like it, it could fall on its face in in a million different directions. But there's a few ways in which it shines, and I don't see it going anywhere. It's actually quite a few that I would I would put in that category. One that I definitely think is really compelling. I think this is awesome for for allowing communication to reach as many people as possible. Is this thing that. Jeff, last week on AI Inside, you mentioned a service called, what was it called? Um, was, um, what was it? It was uh, HeyGen that hey, Jen. essentially in real time takes someone speaking, I'm here on a podcast speaking English, the entire show is us speaking in English. You could run, potentially, feasibly, you could run this, this podcast through a service like HeyGen and it would translate the entire podcast into another language, which in and of itself we've seen translation before, but then it would be, then it would mimic each of our voices and our kind of inflections and all that so that it's my voice speaking Spanish and, and, and uh, technically according to Hey Jen, it also, it also changes it the video. The so it sinks yeah. your mouth and it, and you know, it doesn't look perfect, but it looks close enough. And I'm close sure that's just going to it looks yeah. and sounds plausible, which is pretty amazing. Absolutely. The, the other thing, yeah, the other thing that's going to happen related to that with augmented reality is that we're going to get, so it, there's a big trend nowadays when people watch Netflix or some other uh, TV show, they put on the subtitles, even if it's in the language of, that they already speak. So people have English language subtitles when they're watching the English language show for a variety of reasons. But we're going to get to a world where we're going to have subtitles all the time. We're having a conversation with somebody we're going to see subtitles. If they happen to be speaking a different language, we'll get the subtitles in English and we'll understand what they say. And then when we talk to them, their glasses will say into their language what we're saying. And so this idea of, you know, at some point, the idea of foreign languages will become kind of irrelevant. Yeah. And also the, 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 you know, people get older, they have hearing aids and stuff like that. Cause if you're in a crowded, noisy place and trying to have a conversation, you can't quite make out what people are saying. The ability to have subtitles all the time is going to be kind of uh, a very powerful thing for people who have trouble hearing what other people are saying. So right. it's kind of a cool thing, I think. Yeah, it really Mr. is. Mr. Howell, yeah. can you spell that? That service you said, Heijen, Heijen, H E Y G E N. I think it might be Heijen dot AI. I'm guessing, yeah, Heijen dot AI. So, um, actually, we can we can kind of show a little sample of this, Benito. If you have yeah, the from doc, last week we had a video. Um, yeah, we have yeah from last week's episode on line sixty seven. There is a video. It's a TikTok video. Um, and this will give you a, a sense of what it's able to do. And then I'll, and then I'll give you the reason why I'm actually talking about it. Cause there is news that totally ties into this, but it's worth watching. If you're not watching the video version, you're just going to hear someone talking a bunch of different languages. But if you're watching the video version, understand that the video was recorded in English and then it was turned into all of these other things, all of these other languages. And as you watch this, it's going to go language to language to language. Yeah. It's really impressive. If we could hear it at all. While making my voice sound the same and making sure my lips are moving in the right way. Está bien. He grabado todo este video en inglés y voy a hablar en seis idiomas diferentes y distintos. Gli strumenti di traduzione cambieranno la televisione e i media, traduzindo automaticamente o conteúdo de vídeo para diferentes idiomas. Nie musiałbyś polegać na napisach lub dubbingu, które są so, I mean, Holy if you're, crap, if you're watching good. the video, his mouth German. is moving to whatever language it's being translated. You're hearing his voice, but translated into these languages. I mean, he recorded this video fully in English. 
speaking to the camera Son. and yet you know this ai system is able to kind of do that translation i don't know how much time it takes to to process that and Amazing. make it happen but that's really impressive. And now the news yeah, that yeah. this ties into is that both YouTube and Spotify are adding features like these into their products. YouTube um, made an announcement of some new features, but one of those new features is AI dubbing. It's a dubbing tool called Allowed. Um, it'll be integrated into the YouTube studio environment um, and allows users to basically have a single click to get an AI generated dub into another language. And um, I'm not certain if that's going to take their voice or if it's going to be a preset voice that I don't know, but the ability to do that kind of, you know, live in real time. I mean, we've, we've had like, you know, the, the, the caption translations and that's been really nice. You know, if it's in a language you don't, you don't understand or you can't follow to have the caption translated for you. That's nice. But um, Spotify is going that extra step. They are rolling out a feature um, that will clone the podcaster's voice for language translation. And they're testing this out with some podcast, Dax Shepard, um, Lex Friedman. There's actually an, an example. Oh, no, not, no, no, not Lex Friedman. Sorry, I don't, honestly, I don't even know who he is, but I'm, but I know that that's a sample that they put into their, their article. So he's a, he's a, uh, um, long-termism AI ah, fanboy. Okay. Um, the other thing that's All interesting, right. I think we talked about this in the show last week, uh, Jason, was the, by the way, the show called AI, AI Inside. Inside. Yes, yes. Only that for is club the, members. Mm -hmm. show um, title. Is, uh, <laughs> it's dubbing to movies and TV shows, but this is most interesting to me. Yeah. Is that you, 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 rather than having this strange voice is now Homer Simpson in a different language, right? Yes, right. Now it becomes the voice that you're expecting at the timber, uh, in the language with the lips moving, yeah. And I think I think W. Uh, I think I think was it you who said this or somebody? That I'm not. Used to be you. You only wanted the. It was cooler to have the subtitle version and not the dub version. Dub versions may become more acceptable. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I never wanted to do the dub version because it always felt artificial to me. Like I yeah. want to hear the the original actors and actresses inflection. I want to hear their voice. I might not understand the words, but there's, there's more of a passion there than there is some hired hand that comes in and to, to give you the English representation of what that person, you know, that was paid millions right. of dollars to play that part was actually doing, you know? So I'd rather read it and get as, as close to the original as possible. This could be a good replacement, I but I don't know. I, I think it comes down to the quality of it. And, but I think with, uh, with motion picture budgets, you know, if this exists, on a consumer level for like a YouTube or a Spotify account, I imagine motion picture budgets would do this. I mean, and I have to expect oh. that they would do it exceptionally yeah. well. But isn't this just the equivalent of like copy pasting a book and putting it in Google Translate, which well, isn't like the best? No, it isn't the best, but, but... I, I mean, but I mean that video that we just played. Like, yes, I totally agree. It, it, uh, but it, it does take the tone and timber of the original speaker. That's what's different. That was impressive. And I mean, what we just it's saw, not just like purely for the machine. Granted, I don't speak any of those languages, so I don't know if I understood those languages. German would I have listened good. to that and been like, "Well, oh, that still sounds pretty synthetic." To me, it sounded pretty spot on. Um, but like, I don't speak those. Languages, I, I see only two so problems with this. One, the lost in translation problem. Like, yes, you know, right. That. Mm -hmm. And then, well, like, yeah. two, like. I, I think more about other lang uh, English stuff turning into other languages is what I'm afraid of because like when you translate English into other languages, you have to take liberties with how those things are translated. Totally. And that, that's an art in itself. Yeah. That oh, in itself yeah, you're right. Yeah. So you're right. I don't know. Yeah. Good could, point. could go into, into bad directions. Um, uh, but still, the technology is but also, But also the other thing YouTube is, videos imagine, and stuff, great. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if you, if you did have control of the script... Yeah. Right. You didn't just use the machine translation. Yeah, that's a good point. You that's a good point. This for the voice, the tone, and the lips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That alone is an improvement. Wow. What is what is the native language for this movie? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Watch, yeah. Like I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I do want to see. You know what I really want? I want to do it. You know, just five minutes of of, of this podcast in Portuguese. <laughs> Run it through yeah. Agen, see what I happens. would love to. Yeah. Right, I would love to hear our voices, right, in a language that we don't speak, 
That would be great. Uh, or do it in German, and I'll I'll try to help see if it gets it right or wrong. I'm not very good at it, but I'll try. What would it do when you say uh, like I still should respect. Say it. Say it. I will say it. Like, like well, what does it do when you come up with something that's untranslatable that you presume is right. necessary in its English version? Because I see that all the time in publications. Um, yeah. I just wrote a piece for Stern in Germany about AI and journalism, and I had some kind of uh, 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 to feed the insatiable maw of the internet, and I thought... Well, somebody's going to have to translate that. Yes. Right. What does that translate into? That's a good point. <laughs> so I went on to Twitter and I asked people and they came up with all kinds of, you know, funny and good suggestions. And then the editor came in and said, oh, yeah, there was some good suggestions there. So hmm. they would take care wow. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting.